Hey guys and welcome back. We have finally done it and we are here. It's time for the van tour. It's finished. So this van has by far been the most intricate sort of in-depth van build we have done to date. And it's got everything I think pretty much if it exists, it's got it. It's a gas-free van, which means yeah, it's all electric. We've got 350 watts of solar on the roof. We've got a 560 amp hour lithium fog star battery, three kilowatt inverter charger. 60 amp DC to DC, we've got a 200 amp alternator on this vehicle and then we've got 40 amp MPPT controller. So I think what we'll do is we'll start at the front of the van and we'll work our way through. We've got two single seats that have both been put on swivel plates so they can be spun around nicely to create that dinette section there. We've got full remiss blinds across the front, that's on the two side windows as well as on the front windows so he's got the blackout blinds there we've also fitted a reverse camera for him and he can have that turned on and off whenever he wants and that will give him a nice rear view so as we come into the van we have an electric step just here and that's been wired in so that if you start the engine that will go in automatically and then as I showed in a previous video we've now got waste dump valve and fresh water dump valve so these are electric with a kill switch beer coming into the van I do like how spacious the dining area is we've put a little clip on table here so this can be lifted up taken off and this leg sort of folds up into the table then his bench got the foam upholstered and we got all his electrics down below underneath there we got the kitchen over here we've put a shelf in this one and we just got his pipe work and plumbing back there he wanted a pull out for like tins and that so we've done a pull out with three shelves there for him We've done in a cutlery drawer, which has currently got all his manuals, his balancer and some other bits there for him. And a couple of other drawers. And then we've got the wall cabinets above. This was quite tricky because there was quite a few scribes to do, but we got a nice back panel in there. These do the two skylight lights, and this one does the under counter light which is a cool white LED strip we've put just underneath there we've done an undermount sink and we've got a nice bull nose on the worktop going all the way around we put a small bevel just on the edge of the worktop and don't forget when doing these you also need a little drip cut out from underneath the worktop so that's done got an induction hob He's opted for the slightly larger tall fridge, so it's easier for him to get to when we got a drawer down there below. And then up here, which is where he wants to put his kettle and toaster, we've just got this tambour door and a socket in there, so he can stow things in there when he's driving, and then when he's not, he can lift this up and use this space. We've got some more wall cabinets at the end of his bed, and just there is the router for the antenna on the roof. So he's got Wi-Fi in here. All the hinges are motorhome hinges, so they're all stay hinges. We've got a transverse bed going across here with an, a little window over here, and that's also got the built-in fly screen and two USB bed lights. So you've got some USB points just on the side by there. And then this is a first for us, but we have managed to do a pull-out slide-out toilet. and he's opted for a separating toilet and that tucks nicely into the garage. Now the runners for that can take up to 250 kilograms so they're very heavy duty runners but we've also angled it so that when the toilet comes out on the bottom of that door I've put a knock on edge trim because it's nice and curved and it's soft and we've managed to do that so that when it just gets to the end that also sits on the floor so that's now also going to give him sort of long term use on that that's not going to move it's not going to go anywhere we've done the built in microwave which we've put the socket for up here and it's not got the turntable it's a camper van one where it just got a nice base plate in there so you're not going to get any of that rattling when you're driving around 
we've got a 230 socket here 12 volt cigarette lighter that's a usb point this is his water gauge and then you've got his water pump and his lights then for underneath here we've also put the underwall lights on like a smart switch so we can actually control those from his phone we got the second kitchen here so this is his sort of nice open work top space we've done him a nice little chopping board to sort of tie in with everything we've got two drawers that's his projector and a second drawer just down here and he also wanted somewhere to put his air fryer so we've done a nice big cupboard here for his air fryer and he'll have a bit more storage in there and then down here because he's got such a big battery but he's also got the inverter we needed a somewhere else to put his battery it wasn't all gonna fit in the bench seat for you so that's the 560 amp hour fog star battery now again he's got just a little bit of storage under there as well his diesel heaters in the garage which I'll take you over to in a sec and he's just got a directional vent there for that so I've just taken the cushions off because I'm going to show you the electrics but just above we've got a socket USB that's the on off switch for the water heater which is in the garage that's his display for the energy equipment and that's his diesel heater controls and then underneath here we got the three kilowatt inverter charger by Renergy the Renergy 60 amp DC to DC and then we just got his fuses solar isolator 12 volt isolator some mega fuses but here and his consumer unit and then that's a bluetooth module so his system packs quite a punch and to be fair the way sort of lithium has come down in price solar panels have come down in price it's far more cost effective nowadays to do these all electric camper vans you know i think if you was to put sort of a undermount an underslung gas system in by the time you pay for the system and have it fitted you're talking about a thousand pound if you put that thousand pound into your electrical system you've got an off-grid camper quite easily because you've got the Renergy inverter chargers about 480 and the DC to DC is up there about 180 for the bigger ones and they come down to about 140 for the smaller ones so they're much more cost effective than they used to be you know sort of year or two ago and then in the rear of the van you may have remembered there were some sort of red oxide parts where because it was a builder's van this was all being you can still see it's quite damaged but it was all scratched there was all marks in it a lot of bare paint so we red oxide it and we've now went and got sort of a matching spray can and every time i opened the door it just looked awful and i didn't want to hand it back to the customer like that so we've sprayed those up so they've all tied in quite nice and then in the garage we've got a light but here 12 volt cigarette lighter for some charging of things for him and then we got the water pump and the expansion vessel that's the 12 volt water heater and his diesel heater and then this section here is for his toilet and then bed bulkhead nice trims so yeah it's been a rather long one for us normally we sort of turn them around a bit quicker than we have on this one but a combination we had christmas in the middle and i said it's just so intricate everything in this van if it exists he's got it and it is an absolute beautiful van i do like sort of all the nice open space and that's like if you sit here you've got the dining seat sort of seating area nothing feels too enclosed in and then the windows are the they're from cheshire vehicle windows and they're double glazed you've got the proper latch system on them so several points and then they all come in, come with the built-in fly blinds and the blackout blinds as well and something i forgot to mention is tap is actually one of the swan neck taps which you have a pull out hose and that's got a little button on the side where you can change it to like the shower so that can be taken outside like so really really enjoyed doing this it's been a good good fun van a couple say a lot of news for me sort of electric step oh this is something else i've forgotten to show you've also got i think this is it's either dometic or fiamma i think it's dometic fly screen so yeah a lot of firsts for me on this van we got the job done it's looking absolutely brilliant customer has also sent over some alloys with bf goodrich tires so it is giving the van a lovely off grid look hope you've enjoyed watching us build it we haven't had that many videos on this one because you say christmas in the middle and we've just been up against it for time 
but it's done. Customer's picking it up today. He's also agreed to let us film his reaction coming to pick it up. So I know a few of you have asked or mentioned that you'd like to see a customer sort of reaction when they come and see it for the first time. He's seen a couple of photos of it almost sort of finished, but this will be the first time he has seen it completely finished. And we're gonna capture that next. So as promised, I'm here with my customer Paul. You alright Paul? I am. He's not been in the van yet, he's just arrived. He's actually just had a little nose around the unit because he came yeah. here when we just moved in. So we got to see it when it was just bare it was the one unit. Now obviously we've got the two units, two bays, we've got the office and all the other bits. But this is a genuine first time he's going in the van. You ready for this Paul? I am. He's nosing in the outside. Yeah, it takes a long time since I've seen it, you see, so. And it's also had a lot of repair work on the outside, doesn't it? By paintworks. Yeah, oh, that, that was all a mess. Yes. That's all I can say, a total mess. But when I got it, it our guys at Paintworks repaired all the damage that was up here. It was also on the front bad, wing. Especially this rear quarter. Yeah, it was. And there was something on, yeah, the front wing was uh, dinted as well. Yeah, the front wing was done. They fixed all this that side for was you. terrible, really. But yeah. Fantastic. Literally made it look like new overnight. They? They've done a good yeah, job. Yeah. So, yeah. all that being said, Paul, welcome to your new van. I made the right choice in the furniture. Uh, nice and light. The boards, you know, the, this. Yeah, the sand oak. These were that. Oh, wow. Can I get in? Yeah, put your step out. So, you've got a button on the side. It's up for it to come out. You've got to hold it while it comes out. Oh. That's, I was expecting the down button to... No, it's up. <laughs> so it used, I used to struggle getting in this. Well, see if you can get in. This is my dog, Daphne. Daphne. She's, uh, she's an old Yorkshire Terrier. Hey, girl. 20 years old, bless her. She can't see you very well. No. Uh, but I'll lift her in. See so she's can. going into her new home she as might, well. She might christen this because we've been on the road for four and a half hours. <laughs> she has had a wee recently, but you never know. Right, oh, that's, that's so easy now. That's much easier, isn't it? Yeah. Right, here's the test because I'm six foot one. I know it's going to be tight, but here we go. Oh, that's Ah, nice. you what clear you it. Yeah. You do just I clear it. I thought I was going to be touch I touched that, but I don't mind that. And it smells so much better than it did. Oh, it's, it really stank. I don't know if we told you this, Paul. We literally, it took us four full days just to clean this fan out. Yeah, I'll take it in for a minute. It's like a proper motorhome. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> yeah. You can have a good look around in it in a minute. So this is his first time in it. He said it's like a proper motorhome, it and is. obviously it's that's like, the build. You could go to Marquis Leisure or Brownhills and, and be, be well happy with this. Yeah, so this is the benefit. So people say, well, why don't you just go yeah. buy a prefab camper van? I've looked at um, pre-done ones, and yeah, they're nice and that, but I don't need a, a big, what puts me off is a great big shower cubicle. But yeah. I don't need this. I can wash other places. Yes. I can wash in here. I, I, I used to drive a truck, and all you did then was you got a truck, wash, truck at stop, or yeah, you can get a there's plenty of places stop, to you, go get one. Hand wash, oh. Yeah, exactly. So obviously the big benefit to doing this for like people, myself, Paul, A, the layout is exactly what yeah, Paul has what asked I wanted, for. I wanted particularly the space there, that, that not having that huge toilet cup come shower cubicle afford yeah. you. It gives you all that room there. But I say it's giving you extra cupboard yeah. space, extra worktop space got your fridge up a lot higher so you can yeah. u utilize that a lot lot easier and at a fraction of a cost of what this would cost you off swift it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah tambour door there yeah. toaster and i've got a, a little kettle that'll fit perfect in there a one liter one and that's a 2000 watt, so that's be fine on the... Uh, yeah, the inverters, it's a 3 one. kilowatt inverter. You've got all your drawers, your cupboards. Do you want to see your spice rack? Or your, no, it's not your spice rack, is it? It's your tin rack. Oh, me, yeah, my tin, my, uh, my soup rack. That one by there. 
Come and pick me up. I don't. Oh wow. So all your hinges. Some soups and stuff in there. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see, but all the runners have actually. We don't use the normal roller runners. We've upgraded these to ball bearing runners, and they've got soft clothes on them as well. So how many shelves we got? Three. Three shelves. Cool. Yeah, that's perfect for stuff like that. Tins and. And then to lock it. Oh yeah, the standard Motown type things, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. That's all your manuals. Oh, yeah. We're going to go through some of that in yeah. a bit. That's a good hour's work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that will keep you busy tonight. Yeah. I've got I've got a car full of stuff to uh, to empty out into. To empty out into it. Yeah. So it's Friday today, and Paul is actually going to do some camping for the weekend, local to me, so that he can get to know the van. If he's got any problems, I'm nearby. Yeah, no, a obviously. Bit of a shakedown, really. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, I, we test everything as we're building it. So we've tested the heater system, the hot water system, the electric system. Everything's tested, but nothing is truly tested till it's out on the road. So he's going to do a couple of nights camping locally, get used to the van, and if he's got any questions or problems, then I'm close by. I've got drawers this side as well. Well, you did tell me you wanted as many drawers as you could get. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, as many drawers as possible. Yeah, that's fantastic. I wasn't expecting you to put any on this side, so that's a bonus. That's fantastic. These cupboards, have got batteries in here, The it? battery takes up the majority yeah. of those. Monster battery. Yeah, and remember, because the hinges are motorhome hinges, so they stay hinges, right? But to, for it to be a stay hinge, they have springs. So just remember, on that last bit, they flick. Yeah, not so bad on the wall cabinets, but on the sort of, right, oh, oh. there's a spring in the motorhome hinges, yeah. right? So when you're coming up, if you feel there, see it bounces? Yeah. You don't feel it so much on this because you've got the weight of the door, right? But when you've got one like that's opening sideways, you'll notice just towards the end, it does snap a little bit because of the spring, because they stay hinges. Right. Right, That's a perfect I'm going to give him a proper tour of the van because there's lots for me to show him in, yeah? Do you know, I don't really know where to start. <laughs> there's a <laughs> lot going first. on. But that was a genuine customer's reaction to his van. But it's only fair now, guys. I spend a bit of time with him, run through it with him so he knows how to work everything. 